akroba je bi ene de de e bana no Trinidad and Tobago e ho na ye ko ye be hwa yonko fa e wo Asante ni Trinidad and Tobago ntem e nti wo hene ko ho ye so so ho ni yura ba ye do so ni ye mabeto miura opani wo se kwadwo e ba no abakosem e dia meka se mifem meka se si ye twira abakosem oni se so enti na memfa ni ni agro kra miura Mimwajia. Ya, yeah, eja. Yeah. Nakura na hote sayi. Eh, ye. Yeah. Ede, jasi. Wada wuma, kura miu hunu boyi. Mm. Trinidad. Mm. And Tobago. Mm. E yungu fabene wu wuma ni asante ni temwada wuma. Hehehe. <laughs> Didi kai. Na hote mwoko sa ho. Ah, yu. Ya, yeah, nkura fonu bi e wuho. Asante fonu bi wuho. Aye. Wa wuma se... Titi hono wa enkwa, adi enkwa toba ye no. Edi ebe ibe bri sisi. Ye wo ye enkwa fwa, ebi kura ye ye ton won. Na ye ni ye ni mse ye ton won, akwa na won ma kwa akwa bre. Ne mbo mse ni ana asante fwa. Ye ye enkwa fwa ye ye ton won, no wam jise sa ni ye ye won. Ye endi edi ye na asante fwa, di ye ye ebi nese. Sebe, se wase e shia. Wuti mi ekwa wari fri, manfre ni. Na, na seno aba abe, abe do ama. So, bobe ma ekwa wari ya ne mano, no a waba gumu na wade waye. Hafe ensu, se wu nini pa. Na titi wane, mena naba ako se eni e fre na ame fi. No oto ni pa. E diye, diye ya ane se wuhu se, me ma ame. Enkuwa na busiano waka. Enti aha enti sa wo ba be bobo sia wo wo peska no wa bobo sia e bi ya po mi nu wo bobo sia po mi nu a wo anyi si ho na emu mu ba ba e na wo de na ba na fa fa brem na na e da o be nyi ska no no na wo de aba wo de aba na wa ba je wo ba Na edulu brebi kura na sa wababa ano. E bia na ni supe enti. Na ya deno kura sa ama. E bia efie ura ano. Na neba. No aware no. Ano ni ya sa baba ya na huwa di ama. So. Enti sana na sa antefuwa ye. Sebe ya ye biti miye nye ni pa. Enti ankwa sumba ye no. Ye ye tonko ano. Na sante fwa de ye ajwe ene se, wobi yiko obi wakupi manso, akwa kusunya eho ama mwa nibri biya. Nti 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 ebi kowe. Na nti, edru se, chile ye huo se, enkwa suma etuwe chano. Ni yeti nse ma ye ye no, ya na, eno ye, nipa ye kowe ye no, eda so, ewo hwa, wano mkai se, yifiri ha, yifiri ha, Ya kase, ebe se, 17 u tari ana bibisa. Adi, aguna fo, eni jabe mfo kono. Enu ne ma abraka so kbo ye. Abraka so e bo ye no. Eni pa ni bibiri ye wa wa, ya chichire wom. E kwa ton wom. Inti ne enu mwa kura, na me wo adi ye no, me ye, education, na, 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 me, 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 chile history wa ba yabye no. E, wanumu, e, 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 kea me krata anu. Wanumu ba yabye si, me su ma amedu wan kwa abraka so. Koveho. Ehe. Iti sa ane ti, enti, asante fwa anu bebri, ama mi yenu kwa ana wa ya, si chile ni pani, ya, 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 ya. Na, ya, 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 Na wada urumani ya ye mbo kuno sun kumo kakrai. Ya honu yu krubo huwa. Se uka ayi ingini serbo chime mwa. Wa hima ni kuru wano. Enti uko Trinidad huwa. Ya honsu omu omu mampeni ya nato mwa hina na wa hima wa huwa. Ni mungu dru bisa huwa. Suwa hungu se Brazil enche mwa huwa na saa adi South America. Saa di honu mna. Honu mna ya huwa. 
Ah, <laughs> No more come here can be at your Annie, and your mamma, Miss Papanis, be a genius upon an India, Robert Tibumua, ye chamber many a money. You have some other Roma, and a young quay, near fair brow, and a coy, near course, so na you have a new cobacon, Homa, a hobimbra. You buy a betrothal. honor and privilege to say welcome to our distinguished guest, His Royal Majesty Yassantini of the Ashanti Kingdom. We here in Trinidad and Tobago, Africans we are, of African descent, we cannot deny, we have always been missing something. And today is the highlight of a mental, spiritual, and physical journey to date. I was raised in Tobago by my grandparents. And I had a grandfather who worked every day, 
except Sunday when he became a Seventh-day Adventist. But there was one day in the year that he never worked. It was the only day he would get up from bed and say, today I will not do work. I will celebrate August Day. As a child, I thought he was just taking a day off. But as I got to learn more and more of our history, I realized that this old man who was raising me was honoring ancestors we never knew who were hidden from us and an ancestry which was very much buried. First of August was the day he recognized as his own personal holiday. He passed away in 1974. Never saw the next step that we made, where later on, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, led by a party, led by a historian, decided on encouragement to declare this day, the 1st of August, Emancipation Day. Ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate, let us acknowledge, and let us go forward. But under the hands of that historian, Dr. Eric Williams, it appears as though we were always reaching out for Africa, it being far away, but he knew it was there. In the 60s, we had royalty from Africa. The Emperor Haile Selassie visited us, and we got to know that Africa did have an emperor, did have an empire. The Italians didn't want to accept that. The world didn't want to accept it, but Africa knew it. Then came prime ministers, presidents. We had the visit of Lieutenant, Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rollins. He visited us at emancipation time. And good luck, Jonathan, he also visited. But this is the first time that we are having a visit of a blood relative, royal blood relative from West Africa, which has a connection to us here in Trinidad and Tobago. So visitors and visitors all, this visit is different because it's a welcome home to us and a welcome to us to Africa from family. This is a family gathering taking place at emancipation time in Trinidad and Tobago. So, Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Rowling, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. So, beloved sons and daughters of Trinidad and Tobago. So, we bring you loyal greetings from your brethren across the ocean in the Asante Kingdom within the Republic of Ghana. The chiefs and people of Asante, one of the surviving kingdoms of Africa, wish you joy on this momentous day and prosperity in all the years to come. So, let me express our sincere thanks to the Prime Minister for his gracious invitation to be your guest of honor at this year's Emancipation Day. So, it has enabled us to embark on a journey, indeed a pilgrimage, of the most profound significance as the hairs of a proud kingdom stretching several country, centuries back on a continent scarred by the demons of history. So, we come with a heart heavy with the pain and anguish of a history smeared in the blood and tears of our tortured sons and daughters, extracted from their homes into slavery to be bestialized and brutalized in foreign lands. So, and yet, this heart 
is also pumped up with pride in the valor, resilience, and indomitable, indomitable spirit of the African soul. So, we come with a heart of sorrow for wars that can never be measured, but also filled with faith, abiding faith in the ultimate triumph of the African soul and the power of reconciliation and renewal. So, embedded in our culture is an obligation to honor our dead, to draw inspiration from their lives and to celebrate our heroes. Trinidad and Tobacco deserves all the honor as the first nation to commemorate Emancipation Day as a national holiday. So, and particularly for giving it the international dimension it has assumed. Our presence here affords us the opportunity to perform a historic duty to pay homage to the 20 million sons and daughters of Africa who were the victims of the trans transatlantic slave trade. So, without doubt, the most cruel enterprise in human history. So, to salute the valiant heroes and martyrs who through two harrowing centuries mounted courageous resistance against the enslavement to try and break free from the chains of, of bondage. So, we salute the brave men and women of all races and persuasions who stepped forth to lead the anti-slavery movement, whose trenchant struggles paved the way to the historic emancipation of August 1st, 1834. So, and yes, we also salute the heroes in, post, in the post-emancipation uh, epoch. Marcus Garvey, Dr. W.B. Du Bois, Dr. Martin Luther King, the, the radical tr Trinidadian intellect George Padmore, C.L.R. James, whose intellectual and philosophical ideas fanned the flames of Pan-Africanism and inspired leaders like Kwame Nkrumah, Jomo Kenyatta, and Nelson Mandela to pursue the political emancipation of the continent of Africa from the yoke of colonialism. So, the Emancipation Act passed by the British government granting the slaves freedom from bondage entered into force on August 1, 1834. It set the momentum for the European countries and the United States, but decades of intense struggle lay ahead before the consolidation of the process. So, but while the slaves from Africa were at least nominally free from bondage in the lands of former toil, the continent were at least from which they were extracted remained under colonial subjugation. So, it was not until 130 years after the emancipation of African slaves that both the mother continent of Africa and the countries of the Caribbean, where they were now domiciled, could gain, could gain independence. So, from the colonial masters, beginning with Ghana in 1957, and even then, from the, mo from the continent as well as the diaspora, we continue to ponder what emancipation. So, what emancipation when every government in Africa is still struggling against severe odds to lift their people from grinding poverty? What emancipation when we are still obliged to look up to our former colonial masters for support and survival? And what emancipation when the descendants of the emancipated slaves still cannot walk the streets of the greatest nations on earth, sure. free from fear for their lives? What emancipation for George Floyd, Steve Lawrence, Fafona, and the endless line of our descendants sure. who have fallen to the feet of racial bigotry across Europe and the United States? So, and what emancipation when even our sportsmen cannot perform without confronting the taunts and hate of mobs because of who they are? So, 
we have come to share with you the joy and mirth of the moment to showcase the enthralling culture that defines us and to bear testimony to the fact that beyond the walls of history and the oceans that seek to separate us, we remain and ever will be one people with one common destiny. So, it is in that spirit that we also recognize the need to go beyond the myth of the moment to try to understand the essence of emancipation and the challenges it poses to every dis descent in the diaspora. So, giving people the freedom to wallow in poverty cannot be true emancipation. Nor can it be when the emancipated souls are thrust onto an environment hostile with racial discrimination and injustice. So, the tribulations facing our governments in Africa, Caribbean and Latin America, as they struggle to lift our people from grinding poverty and the racial discrimination our people continue to endure worldwide, not only determine our emancipation, but now pose a mortal danger to our humanity. So, I believe therefore that over 180 years after the Emancipation Act, it is time for a universal effort to give meaning to emancipation and I invite our leaders to pursue the proclamation of a new universal declaration against racial discrimination, which will have, among its elements, the elevation of racial discrimination into a crime against humanity. So, so. Secondly, I invite our governments to pay attention to the education of our youth about our common heritage the history of our glorious past through the millennia of great empires that ruled in the world long before the onset of European civilization and the intrinsic values that have shaped us as a people and have survived through all the storms of the past. So, we need this to debunk the obnoxious narratives that have infected us with a deficiency complex over the years and reconnect us with the wisdom and true hardy substance from which our forefathers sprang. So, beloved Trinidadians, beloved gems of African heritage, destined by circumstance to glow in the soil of the Caribbean Isles, I ask with deep solemnity for a period of introspection for each one of us to ask himself or herself, what am I doing? What am I doing for my country? So, for my community, so. my family, so. and myself. So. No nation is built by magic or by stealth. Nations are built by the sweat and labor of the people. So. Two centuries ago, your forefathers were cruelly extracted from their homes and brutally compared to exert their labor to serve and create wealth for others. So. Today you have the opportunity to freely build a nation of your own, to create wealth for yourselves, and to live the happy lives your forefathers were denied. What, I ask, could be more glorious than this? So, I'm not unmindful of the complexities of the African condition reflected in stark terms by the psychological damage and attendant moral affliction from which generations of Africans are still smarter. The resultant imbalance has led to attitudes that should be understandable from the perspective of a psychologist, but we should not simply surrender to its ills. So, we should accept it is a historic challenge to strive to eliminate the scars of the past and boldly create new conditions for the wealth and well-being of our families and our nations. That is why I wish to address the need for re-education as a key to redemption and call on scholars, writers, and indeed to the education establishment of African heritage to launch a united effort for the preparation of the material for use at all levels to tell the true African story to this incoming generations. So, this does not mean 
we have to wait until we have cleared all the debris of the past before our week, our future can be secure. We have a problem today that we, do not, we dare not ignore. The new transatlantic debt trade has erupted in a continent of Africa involving the grotesque, heartbreaking spectacle of our most able-bodied young people, paying people to leave them to their death. Men and women, many of them of higher education, are making perilous journeys in search of greener pastures in the lands where our forefathers were forced into slavery, here in Trinidad and in other sister islands of the Caribbean, we have the unfortunate upset of needless violence, often fueled by drugs. So, I cannot pretend to know all the reason or to have answer, but I'm sure it reflects a degree of despair that has the potential to set our nations further back. And I also know one thing. Giving in to despair does not reflect the African. As king of a mighty warrior kingdom, I can assure you that the African spirit does not cower under adversity. So, if it were not so, we would have been wiped out of the face of the earth as a race long before our time. So, Africa has been proven to be the cradle of the human race. It was from the shores and forests of Africa that humans first drifted to lands now known as Asia, Europe, and America. That being the fact, can we not say with pride that our great-great-great-grandmother, mine as well as yours, is truly the mother and the midwife of the human race? So, yes, we can. So, yes, we can. So, so why should we allow others to steal our pride, ossify our true heritage, and leave us in despair? The true African spirit is to stand up and yell, Need desperando. So, we should, beloved Trinidadians, we must resist the temptation to be defined by drugs and needless violence, by slothfulness and wanton indiscipline. The Asante Kingdom has survived through four centuries because of the fidelity of the people to the golden to and their king. So, their discipline and hard work. These are the qualities we cherish from our stock. Fortunately, we do not even have to look far into history for inspiration. There are enough heroes and heroines in the pantheon of greatness to inspire every child in Trinidad to dream and go for it. So, we must resolve to be defined by the sporting prowess of Muhammad Ali, Nascimento Pele, so, Brian Lara, Kobe Bryant, Usain Bolt, Serena Williams, and William Wilma Rudolph. So, we must be defined by the music of such immortals as Louis Armstrong, Bob Marley, Nat King Cole, Aretha Franklin, Maria Makiba. So, and yet, we must be defined by the heights by which great men reached and kept. Great men of our kith and kin like Barack Obama, General Colin Powell, Busumru Kofiana, and Ngozi Okonjo, some of the greatest leaders of the modern world, whose record of leadership in the highest global level stand tall against any measure. So, and I dare add, there is enough quality close at home to counter any negativity to dispel my any despair. So, so. George Padmore was among the first to critically analyze how colonialism was despoiling Africa, extracting its world to enrich the colonial master. His book, Africa, Britain's Third Empire, was promptly banned by the colonial government, but Patmore's vigorous advocacy of the Pan-African ideal was that what sharpened African students in London, like Pam and Kruma, Jomo Kenyatta, and Joapia, immerse them in the Pan-African vision which prepared them to return to lead the revolution for the so, emancipation of Africa from colonialism. So, but more, joined the friend Nkrumah on the achievement of independence in Ghana 
and ran Nkrumah's African Affairs Secretariat, which was responsible for supporting liberation movements across Africa. So he died a citizen of Ghana and stands as a symbol of Ghana treating that oneness. Your first Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams, was another close friend of Nkrumah whose insight in, in economic affairs remains undiminished. And I recall another distinguished Trinidadian son, Philip Cross, who served as senior legal counsel. So, it is patently clear that Ghana and Trinidad and Tobago share one destiny, a common destiny fortified by the blood of our sons and daughters and driven by the high vision of our leaders. So, we, have, we have no choice but to join hands together, work together, think together, plan together, pool all our resources together to lift our countries out of the distress of the moment into the prosperity of our so, as they are destined. So, as we herald the heroes from whose exploits on the global stage we draw inspiration, we see worrying gaps on the Pantheon. Where are the mighty titans of business who are shaping the global today? Where are we in the laboratories from which scientific discoveries are shaping mankind? So, where are we in the digital world? The fortunes of nations and individuals are being transformed daily by new technology. And the prospects of artificial intelligence taking control of the global economy looms large. But where are we in the race? So, you have heard over, over again about the scourge of climate change. I am sure you have not just heard, but have experienced the devastating effect. In Ghana, the forest from which the Asante Kingdom drew its strength and wealth is depleted. The combined effects of insufferable droughts and raging floods threaten the very existence of mankind and we are the main victims. We can either face the challenge or surrender to its consequences. So, there can be no question that to face the challenge with fortitude is a task for every citizen. So, our businessmen need to step forward to explore the myriad of opportunities in the new economy, the green economy, to create wealth for themselves, create jobs for the people, and together create wealth for the nation. So, in the face of these challenges and consequential opportunities, there should be no reason for despair, and most certainly no reason for any recourse to wanton acts of violence, indiscipline, or inter-ethnic strife. So, we all belong together. So, three years ago, I had the honor of hosting the Prime Minister in my palace in Kumasi when he visited Ghana as a guest of honor at the celebration of Ghana's Independence Day. So, we had the opportunity for very fruitful discussions and to share ideas on wide ranging issues. We have followed the affairs of your sister state closely since, the, since then. From all our observations, there's no reason for us to doubt that every reason to be confident that beloved Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago is in safe hands and pointing in the right trajectory. So, we see every prospect of building a prosperous state which can be a model of inclusivity and the racial harmony that we so desperately needed today. So, but as the people need good leaders, so good leaders need loyal people to help deliver success. So, so in the spirit of your great ancestors, whose heritage has been bequeathed to us, I ask you, beloved sons and daughters of Trinidad and Tobago, valiant sons and daughters of the heroes whose residents broke down the chains of slavery let us rise above and abolish notions of despair. So, cast into the fire temptations to meaningless violence and any habit calculated to undermine the peace and stability of the state. So, Remember, this is home. Your home. So, it is yours to build and yours to save. So, home is where the honor is. And honor only grows in the soil of peace. So, 
as I return to my peaceful abode in Kumasi, Ghana, I hope one day in the future I can hear someone say, we heard a voice from the Asante forest, we listened and we found peace. So, and with peace came accelerated development and prosperity. So, God bless Trinidad and Tobago. God bless the brotherhood of Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana. So, May we together find everlasting prosperity for this and generations to come. So, Thank you and enjoy glorious emancipation day. Thank so, you. So, <laughs> Na no ada uruma, minimise e bana chroni, aba kwa se mwa, medikai, e di bibiasi ya manfo chubwano se, mifam ni mehune se, udi mwaka yempa. Na tini dadoho ye koye hune se, o hini, ni chini ye ye nunu, bewe uro biya, chini ye no, eda so, e sini so. Uh, Uli nimise, ye mamu hase ye no, uh, wopisi, abibire mamu no, uh. Asante ya jitini. Okay. Ena asante hina so so. Na afya so diye bako. Ene chini ye ya diye. Iti bebi ya wabe kurono. Iti chini ye. Se chini ye si ensi o to. E vye bo e su wako. Se chini ye si nesu o. Iti se wako ka menguma. Adi asante hisi part 2 volume 2 ya. Chini ni ye chini fuwa se. Ni makiro ane huwa se mina e wum. Na ebrebi kura sante hini eko abruchire no. Wako ye no, wanu eda eda mwe mwa, nechini ye chinfuo, enzo so eda, eda ni eto zumi inu mu. Inti mwini oyadi, enti, enti, na hun, na shen so diye kani ye no, eye, se bribi ya no, wanfe uye mu, wanfe insi yu mu. Nini na aje se, wuku kura chini ye chinfuo, wanu wadi sinu sinu sinu. Yo, na nwa da uroma, mimi siya se, tini da da hono, ili ni mubua, wa da uroma, mpeni mfase se mikura wa ni mzuhu, nyan senti mwenye hono ho, yo fya ane kesi eno, ebe dru, gana ha. Aha, kuke adi edi, mime ndi se, e che en gana, mzuhu hono. Ne mwum, di e ya ane se, e yo man kesi e kakra. Na sabre no, e hwano mwuzo na wene mkwa duye duya tobako ne shuga. Na e si chidi adi e ahwidi e. Ahwidi e. E ne adi e ya no wano mata, no wano me ye hwano juma no. So mjina e ye nko asumu ni yade kwa e. Na di e ba ya nese wano mwuzo se e bibifu wano Ye wili ye timi sa nyare wano. E nune ma wano mo epe si sa ye nko ho bibiri ino. Aha, ye nko ye. Ye wili nyami me mu yidu, pampe, enti. Tuntu me kabulu ni obe yade, ni ye kaya ye ente fi. E nuti kwa na yade, sa ha yade ye ya. E kumu ni padudu ye ha ba ye, enti mi ye nko ye pi. E no kre, nyami ye shire bibi ma ye. Enti mi ye nko bisi nyami ye bibi ni, akura ni nba ye ajwe ye. Aye ndi minti minkasa, ebise, unyame di esu wano wapo hone mjina. Ote bifon kwa, wanti asye, jini mwa nyame di ma ye do sunu do. E do sunu chile se, uo di ye hinyo wani ye de ma uo. Uko kurubisua, jikluni di bo mo brae bako, pe bikula fango nkwa. Esu wamo hon chilo, wamo di ye juma nye, wamo hato wano. Ubu okula wunifi e tuwa nwa jiji. Jinsa wa tuwa e wunwa di bunu mai. Yesu diye, japadiye duma nko ubiya wa ma yibi. Sia de ma wwa, e nun su ne su ma wwa 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 ya kwa juro. E pise wwa njini biadiye biya wwa huto. Wwa se wwa 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 wwa. Eee, na, se wwa hunto wwa, e na wwa jini biribiye suwa hunwa. Se me ye ni si, me ye si. Le ya diye diye, wukwa, kane ya se, wukwa biye fu mwa, ba wafre wu ti di kwa, suwa hu. Anka ya ti ti ye gwe asye, ya diye ni msi ya yu biya na yasun su ube ti mefa, afe yi, ya mam, ya mam ha se, na ya kwa besin. Besin se, ti to diya, ni ya wu, wu ti mimkwa ti. Nemo me ti to diya, eno wu kwa ya diye, diya ya diye fu. 
And I'm was a dear fool, be so yard and yet. I dear fool, most of it, finish a book, I say. Would you a ye, I mean, me dear, some city beachum. I could ever say, Yammy boy, I see no drubby me, mutit to gun, how did the Padini be my? And I'm a kind of man with an odd enna. I hung one do the general peer before my mom was out here. We promise I come when you walk over here. You a grand, I'm not to drink away. Yang mau cuci muka ye ko ye ko tini dah doh na oh ini boleh dia ya cuma sembuh kerja mungkin saya ambil dua ya betul pun sempi ya home phone ini bini dia cuci wudi ya ko so ni na orang saya sana ini sebab baby aku biar dia sah fana ni nak cuci nengkang baby aku biar no ya jina wah wah tu ni ni nak ke dimpa ya kena home sem enti mada rumah mungkin je dimpa sedia yura atau saya kujuk wacu orang rumah no je dimpa orang rumah minum so nak kau ni mau dia Jadi apa ya adu mua ni mana nana num ni beri dihompa tu susu jaja padi bi satu ho na wana nua body esrau akra ada roma ya mfa tuni dadi dia num insi ha na mpenzi umu ya minu muna ya mfe esa ya kono wo jamai ya ya baba mfe jamai sano mpenzi umu ya minu muna insi ha huna. Ada enti ni ibu be, ni berapa enti si ibu be? Eba yeri yeri enti. Kura apa aku enyum sabi? Orang yang bubu abis si kru ni mahu masuk atau resmi? Tanya ni wanti nafsi. Emma asal dia am. Belani pih firman tambah ini sepi. Enyam kau anda wah, naya sutron wah. Ansan odi asal dia fitah, nana nama aku dia berinsi amu aku tuan insi muda kemuni. Dia nani we kelamai? Oya sofa kau ni yebi. Ton 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 ton. Eya nama sani efah. Eno nyan sapa. Abu ane taka na mani yake siena ane taka abu ane diye fanya namka tiri kwa. Mada uroma onto mayefe ni dini disa ingi ni dini Obama. Akola wano sum pesi utimu usuma ensi bata. Sasa sasa ni hongo shia ni Amerika sasa. Sabe kaa ya chini mu nyama na ibu afaso ni dia chini mu chini nyama. Sebedi akone ba kwenye bodi ya chini. Nasa kufunua ni ya bi ntimeni ni mu ampata na wu ya dia ya.